it is important that when you have a newborn, you should know how often you should feed your baby. Do you have a sleepy baby and you're wondering, should you wake your baby up? Is your baby getting enough? Well, it depends. It depends on your baby's age, weight, and overall health. Usually, newborn babies lose weight the first few days of life and regains it by one to two weeks of life. And until your baby regains his or her birth weight, you need to feed your baby frequently. And for some, it might mean waking up your baby if your baby sleeps for longer than four hours. Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquette. I'm a board certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. In this video, we will talk about what is normal with breastfeeding and what to do if you have a sleepy baby. Should you wake baby up? We will also talk about skin to skin, what are the feeding cues, and what is a good latch. Also, more tips are coming. Sleepy newborn babies and feedings. So what is normal? Newborn needs to breastfeed 8 to 12 times in a 24-hour period in order to gain weight and for you mom to stimulate your milk production. Newborns usually feed every 2 to 3 hours from the beginning of one feeding to the start of the next feeding. Um, cluster nursing can also happen where newborns feed on and off for several hours, especially in the evening. Um, newborns need to actively feed on one or both breasts each feeding. So what are some of the reasons why you might have a sleepy baby? Newborns might be sleepy or not interested in feedings uh, in the first few days. Some of the reasons might be uh, for a, this is true for a small baby. Another reason is that if you have had a difficult uh, labor or delivery, or if you mom have received uh, drugs for pain relief during labor. Other reasons why babies are sleepy uh, is because of jaundice or the yellowish discoloration of the skin, or if your baby has an infection. Now, frequent breastfeeding can prevent jaundice in normal newborns from becoming a problem. So, if you have a sleepy baby, you need to wake your baby up to make sure that your baby gets enough milk. It is easy to wake up your baby for feedings if your baby is in a light sleep cycle. What are the signs that your baby is in a light sleep cycle? So if there is rapid eye movement under your baby's closed eyelids, if there's active movements of the arms and legs, if your baby is, has sucking movements, or there are changes in facial expression. Aim to feed your baby at least 10 times in a 24-hour period. Um, encourage active nursing, Make sure that your baby is swallowing and also do breast compression. And then do the same thing in the other breast. And make sure your baby feeds at night too. They need to do that as well. So it is better that you keep your baby close by day and night. And what other things can you do to wake your sleepy baby for feedings? Well, you can dim the lights and make the room quiet and peaceful. Try to make the room temperature cool as well and aim for a temperature of 18 degrees Celsius or lower. You can also undress your baby a little bit um, if you think your baby is warm. This is because if your baby is warm, it can make him or her sleepy. You can unwrap your baby's blankets as well. Now, what are baby's feeding cues? And what are the signs of a good latch? And how to go about skin to skin? I am also gonna offer you more tips as well. 
But before we go to that, are you expecting a baby? Or you already have a newborn baby? How much better life can be when things are under your control upon baby's arrival? You feel confident with breastfeeding your baby. You know how to soothe a crying baby. You know the signs to watch out for that would indicate that baby is sick. You would know how to take care of yourself and watch for the signs of postpartum depression. Well, I'm offering an online training video series known as the five newborn care strategies. Do check that out in the description section. Let's go to knowing your baby's feeding cues. Your baby is more likely ready to feed when your baby has these feeding cues. One example, if there are mouth movements where they're smacking or licking up the lips, when your baby is sucking on the lips, tongue, um, fingers, hands, toes, and toys. When your baby is squirming or fidgeting, when your baby has the rooting reflex, and um, remember, crying is also a feeding cue. But let's not wait for that. It is a late hunger sign. Good latch is important. This is because if your baby is not latched on well, your baby might need to work harder to get enough milk. And this would make your baby tire easily and fall asleep. Um, making small adjustments on how your baby comes to a breast can make a huge difference. So remember, ask help from a lactation specialist in the hospital. And also, do you feel that your breasts are engorged? Try hand expressing a little milk before your baby attaches to the breast. If your baby is still having difficulty with breastfeeding, try skin to skin. Um, how to go about it. So, you mom should not be wearing a bra and you can lift your gown up. And baby should be undressed except wearing a diaper. And you let your baby mom lie on yourself as you recline and baby's chest and tummy should be against you and then cover both mom and baby with a blanket and just enjoy each other. When your baby is ready to feed, your baby would look for the breast and attach and latch. What else can you do to help with breastfeeding? Well, you mom should keep yourself comfortable. Make sure that your arms and back are well supported. Also, keep your breast at its natural level and keep your baby close and cuddled with you. Um, make sure that your baby's nose is close to your nipple. This would encourage your baby to extend his or her neck and open his or her mouth wide in order to get a good deep latch. And of course, seek help. If your baby is not responding to all your efforts to breastfeed, then don't give up. Don't give up too soon. You can check with your doctor to make sure that your baby does not have a medical reason for this problem. Hey, if you like this video, watch my next video where I teach you about other child health problems.